You're watching Price's Valley This Morning on KBTX News 3. He had his issues with the hospital and the doctors there. Raymond Zanstra is a former roommate of mass shooting suspect Gregory Ulrich. He says anyone who knew Ulrich knew he hated the health clinic in Buffalo because they would no longer prescribe him the pain medication he wanted. There was a particular doctor that he did not like. Court records back that up. They show Ulrich pled guilty in 2019 to violation of a harassment restraining order that mandated he have no contact with Andrew Bergdorf, a doctor at the clinic. He was not allowed to enter the Alina Clinic in Buffalo Hospital unless transported by medical personnel for emergency treatment. But in April of last year, the case was dismissed because Ulrich was found mentally incompetent to proceed. He had all kinds of mental health issues. By law, those documented mental health issues should have prevented Ulrich from legally possessing a firearm. But his former roommate claims law enforcement signed off on a permit. Why would you do that? Why would you? I, I don't understand. We found a document in Ulrich's court file where he'd applied for a permit and a court services agent warned that he should not be allowed to use or possess any dangerous weapon. Zanster claims Ulrich bought a gun. He bought a Smith & Wesson that was brand new in a box. As chaos unfolded Tuesday, this public tragedy became personal for Naya, who got a text from a friend. There was a screenshot of there was a shooting, and, I, and she's like, doesn't Lindsay work there? And I was like, yes, this is crazy. So I text Lindsay. And I said, are you okay? And she never responded, which is not like her because her and I speak almost every day and she responds very quickly. Turns out these best friends who met while in school in St. Cloud had shared their last conversation. Lindsay Overbay, who had devoted her life to healing others, was hurt and would not survive. Police say a disgruntled patient shot her and four others. I don't under I just don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand what this person was, I don't understand, she just went to work. Naya says Lindsay loved her job and she loved her time at home. She's a great mother, a great daughter, she's a great friend. Her, her passing is going to affect so many people. But I want everyone to know though, like, she's just, she's very loved. She's a loving person, she cared about everybody. The kids spent last night with Naya. Now she and Lindsay's family will work hard to help those beloved children in honor of the woman who helped so many others. It's just really important that these kids are taken care of. They got a long road ahead of them.